If there's anything more terrifying than the mysteries of the ocean, it undoubtedly is its sound. In the last decades, different specialists, as well as military and specialized research centers, have started to use a powerful technique to detect marine sounds. Its name is sonar, and if you're one of those people who aren't afraid of what's hidden at the bottom of the ocean, you better join us, because you're about to discover some of the most chilling things captured by this sound raider. Ready? Are you sure? If you insist, then it's time to begin. Number 3 Every country has its myths and legends. Some are extremely popular locally while others transcend borders and become global phenomena. Bigfoot or the Abominable Snowman are some popular examples that have transcended time. But there is one beast that surpasses them both. Its fame is enormous, and its existence could be real, all too real. It's the Loch Ness Monster, the mythical creature that has terrorized and attracted tourists every year to Loch Ness in Scotland. One of those tourists was British Tom Ingram, a 36-year-old man who traveled from Portsmouth to enjoy a simple vacation. Although he was off-duty that afternoon, Tom was one of the main people responsible for the implementation of sonar technology in his country. He was proud of that, but he didn't expect his work to surprise him that day, let alone on Loch Ness. According to his description, while the boat was navigating the loch and he was enjoying the picturesque nature of the surroundings, something strange happened. The crew heard the captain and his men raise the alarm. The situation seemed to be a bit worrying and when one of his former academy mates recognized him and asked him to help them, he knew something was wrong. Upon entering the engine room, Tom saw the sonar. The sound waves reaching the ship were eerie and could be detected at a depth of about 121 meters. Additionally, the sonar also served the function of detecting underwater images, which managed to capture something that couldn't possibly be a fish or a seal. It was more than 9 meters long and its shape was slightly curved, like a thick snake with an oversized body that was difficult to move. It seemed impossible, it didn't make any sense, but it was real, very real. Was it Nessie, the lake monster? Tom refused to believe it, but there was no other logical explanation. It wasn't the first time that this technology has detected something similar, but it had never been so clear or evident. It proved the possible existence of a monstrous creature in the lake. And if it wasn't Nessie, then it would be something much worse. Of course, the local media reported the news, which quickly reached the rest of the world. However, this monster is still hidden at the bottom of the lake, with no one able to verify its existence. However, this isn't the first time something similar had been reported in the lake. In fact, the United States has its own account of a similar situation, although their reports are much less friendly and are riddled with shilling theories assuring the existence of the following shadowy creature. Number 2 Every monster in the world has a great hunter on its trail. In the case of the Lake Champlain monster, her name is Cathy Elizabeth, and she's an adventurer and hunter who has dedicated part of her life to searching for this mysterious creature that has been sighted since Native American times. This lake is made up of two countries and three cities, with the United States, specifically New York, being the main place where the presence of the beast has been recorded. Of course, one of the biggest researchers of this creature is Katie, who has been trying to find solid evidence of the existence of this creature since 2012. She recently succeeded. Thanks to the use of a sonar device, Katie achieved what was thought to be impossible. She recorded evidence of what could be the Champs Lake Monster. According to her experience, Katie recorded disturbing sounds at a depth of more than 60 meters. She immediately tried to track down this anomaly and captured about 65 images that she was only able to view two days later. When she looked up at what she had captured, she was stunned. The sonar device had captured the shape of two animals more than 7 meters long and with a monstrous and inexplicable appearance. Katie shared her findings with experts and specialists, and no one was able to reach a conclusion. 
Some considered it to be a reptile, others a mammal, but everyone was sure that it was something uncommon and never recorded. This has prompted Katie to write her book, which recounts the search for this monster and its possible discovery. So far, the monster that possibly inhabits this lake hasn't been captured. But one thing is certain, something strange is happening in the depths of Lake Champlain and Katie Elizabeth is going to find out. Cases like Katie's aren't as atypical as you might imagine. There are still many explorers in the world who are willing to reveal the mysteries that are hidden from our gaze, although sometimes this can lead to dark and unimaginable paths, as has happened to a couple of naval engineers who found the ancient ruins of a city that no one knew about until now. Number 1. Pauline Selitsky and her husband, Paul Wainswake, were a happily married couple with a dedicated professional life when Advanced Digital Communications assigned them to a mission to explore off the coast of Cuba. The request was not unusual. The Cuban government has devoted great resources and effort to naval exploration, as large Spanish galleys have been discovered submerged in the depths throughout the Caribbean island. Of course, these galleys were carrying large quantities of silver and gold that the Cuban government desired. And with that in mind, Pauline and Paul went to the province of Pinar del Rio, on the western side of the island. This was a routine job. This time, the couple had one of the most sophisticated sonar devices to date. It was the year 2001, and when the expedition began, something unimaginable happened. The sonar detected something in the darkness of the seabed, but it wasn't a galley or a hidden treasure. The device captured evidence of the ruins of what seemed to be a lost city. It was submerged at a depth of about 600 meters, and the sonar images showed a series of large structures of smooth, polished granite, similar to pyramids composed of large blocks and circular structures. Around this strange structure, the terrain was flat and barren. There was nothing protruding except for the building itself. Was it possible that nature itself had formed such perfect geometric constructions, or perhaps it was evidence of an ancient, unknown civilization? These concerns caught the attention of the media and the Cuban government. The idea that an ancient, unknown civilization had built those pyramids began to give rise to all kinds of theories and possibilities. However, almost immediately, the Cuban government removed all foreign teams from the investigation and shared the secrets of this place only with the officials in charge. Since then, there has been no news about these strange buildings. Some specialists suggest that the government isn't willing to make necessary investment to investigate these structures. Therefore, their mysteries remain submerged in the depths of the ocean, and it seems that it will remain so for a long time. However, if you'd really like to know the mysteries of the ocean, discoveries of unexplored cities, or findings of monsters lurking in the deep sea, you don't have to wait long. Just check out the following videos and discover for yourself what our abundant and terrifying oceans hide. Are you ready to join us? Then take a look at these videos.